I figured out how to make the grappling hook. First things first, the part that I know, we need nine poisonous potatoes to make a poisonous potato block. Considering how many potatoes we have around here, it shouldn't take me too long to find those. So it definitely took too long, but we've got them. Now, here is another thing. I was told that I'm supposed to be breaking the stone with a hoe. So let's see if that, oh my gosh. So much for all that iron I had creepers blow up for me last episode. That means we can literally grab all of this iron that is just chilling right here. Watch this, there it is. There it comes. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Thank you to the wonderful human being who left me that comment. It is highly appreciated. <laughs> now we just make the poisonous potato block. Now we've just got to find a dangerous beam or laser beam or some sort of beam. And I know what mob drops it. It is the one mob that we decided not to fight last time we saw it. And it can be found somewhere over in another area. I've just got to find that area first. Whoa, there's double beehive right there. That's wild. Here it is. It's this area, I believe. This area has the stinky fish, stunk fish, whatever in it, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think, yes, 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 yes. We need to kill one of these guys. Come here, buddy. I didn't fight any of these guys because I was scared they would be too strong. And did they wither me just then? Yeah, so <laughs> gotta be careful not to die to them because I don't want to lose all of my iron that was so hard to get last episode and is now incredibly easy to get. <laughs> but, uh, oh man, he fell down a ledge. Okay, so there's a bunch of them in here. Oh man. <laughs> I just want to take on one of you at a time. He dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped what we need. Okay. We just run in there, grab what he dropped, and get out. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, look at this. Look. Lashing potato. We just take that. We equip it to our bar. We put on the elytra here. Now, hopefully, I don't die from fall damage, but I messed around with this a little bit in creative mode. And oh my gosh. The two of these together are just absolutely fantastic. It, like, doesn't even appear to have any sort of limit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I can make it back to my village so easily. Is this even my village? I'm not even sure. I don't think this is my village. Let's, let's, yeah, this is definitely not my village. There's an iron golem here we could go ahead and slay. Traversing this place just became seriously so much easier. I cannot wait to get exploring. But actually finding this village is a really good thing because we want to get enchantments to hopefully take on the final boss. And if they've got books, that will help us actually get to level 30 enchants. Yes, this is the house we're looking for. All right, everybody, since it's so easy to travel nowadays, let's go ahead and go find that very first diamond we found in the first episode. It was so incredibly easy to get over here. I remember struggling so much to traverse this area earlier in the game, but that diamond was somewhere right down here. Oh, and we've got this new material that we can also try to grab. I don't know if we need anything special. Okay, so this is the same thing, the toxic resin. For some reason, these ones don't stack. Okay, fish impurities, air bubble impurities. Interesting. Here it is. Here's our first diamond of the series. I'm so excited. It looks like it might just be one, unfortunately, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. Let's get it. Diamonds. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the random ores I can find around this area. Not really sure what this resin is going to be for, but we're going to grab it anyway. I have so much iron so quickly. This is ridiculous. Also, if you know what this toxic resin is for, please let me know because it is clouding my inventory and I don't know if it's worth it. Lapis. Okay, fantastic. That means we definitely can do enchanting. Let's get out of here. Dropped all of our stuff off. Now I'm gonna go exploring again. Also, we now have all iron tools, which is pretty nifty. So I've been wondering if there's any reason to come explore all of these down here. It looks like there is for sure a spider spawner over there, which we don't wanna deal with, but could be good for an XP farm potentially. However, I'm not really seeing any 
chests or anything down here. Gold, we've got gold. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Where's this guy at? He must be up in there. Or down below? He's right here. Down below us. Is there another one? There's two. Okay, uh, no. No! <laughs> oh, that's gonna be impossible to get down there. Not to mention all of our stuff probably fell off the edge. Stupid shield broke on me. That was this one right here. That was close. Ouch, not what I intended to do. There's all my stuff right there. No skeletons. Please, I just need the elytra and the and the and the grappling hook. Grappling hook? Please, elytra, elytra, elytra. Fantastic. Okay, okay. We're all we're all good here, people. It looks like the only thing we really lost was our bow, as far as I can tell here. And our other used hoe as well. Gold, here we come. So the only benefit I really see to this is if I like wander around underneath here and look at the bottom of all of this and try to find some diamonds and stuff. Like I can see Lapis right now. See, there we go, diamonds. Only one again though. <laughs> More diamonds? Is it just one again? Getting really sick of this. <laughs> diamonds. More than one, more than one, more than one, more than one. Just one. <laughs> Finally, we've got a place with two diamonds. Be more than two, be more than two, be more than two, be more than two. Okay. <laughs> these veins are awful, but that now gives us enough to make an enchanting table. I want to collect these lava sources down here, so we're going to go ahead and make ourselves that diamond pick. Bada bing! There we go. One down, three to go. There's actually minecart chests in here. Oh, that is the worst. <laughs> bada bing! Bada boom! More diamonds! That vein actually had three, that's fantastic. Another one bites the dust. And the last one. Oh no, I fell into the void. Oh no, <laughs> this is not good. Okay, we get a, a Minecraft end screen here. I don't know if there's a way I can speed this up. Minecraft poisonous potato. The nightshaders stir, we are not alone in here. Star M? Yeah, I'm not gonna read all of this to you guys. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, 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 it just brought us, it brought us back to our house. Wow, that was a convenient way to get home actually. <laughs> Especially since that's where I was trying to get to anyway. So here is everything we managed to gather. We can go ahead and grab those two diamonds, those four obsidian, and one of these books. And that should make it so we can craft an enchanting table. Voila, everybody. Also, something happened and now I have poisonous potatoes on my feet. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if those like keep me from taking fall damage or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to figure that out. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that video on screen right now to see me gather a whole bunch of poisonous potatoes for an impossible challenge on the Igniter SMP. I cannot wait to see you over there. Bye-bye. I love you guys.